Back at it like a crack addict. We are back with another episode of Voice Over Edition. Today, me and Cuz is going to a comedy show. And I'm doing our makeup for it, as you guys can tell from the thumbnail. I'm high right now, so we're going to see how this goes. Mm, I don't know what's going on in my voice. <coughs> oh, I feel like it's cracky. <laughs> for real. Um, I'm going to try to leave all the products down um, below of what I'm using. I did try to show them a lot in the video. Um, Y'all know how I am with angles and the light, so the angles and light might be off, but... Right here, I'm just priming the eyes for her look. Now, she wanted a gold look. And, of course, I had to use my girl's um, Beast by Debs in the Buff palette. I love that palette. In the other palette, the Color for Days. Um, Y'all see me use that a lot on my platforms. I was uh, just using different browns. And in that palette, it has about three or four different golds. Um, Y'all going to see that. We was trying to figure out which gold that she wanted and she wound up picking the loud gold but it all worked out at the end um that see that's the that's that's the part right there um and at first she was like oh this is too bright like try to tone it down i'm like girl i try to do it i try to tone it down with another uh gold shimmer in there but it did it did turn out looking it turned out cute though and i felt like it was so cute like we didn't plan this or anything like that but she did a gold look, and my look was more, like, silver. I felt like that was just uh, so really, really cute. Um, I don't know. Like, you see, and I love, and I was telling her, I love her eyelid space, too. Like, it is just my dream to, like, do a nice cut crease on her, and I have to one day. Um, but, yeah, that gold is pretty. I like that gold. And you got, when you wear certain colors and certain things, you just got to rock it. And, like, you you got to wear with confidence, okay? And she sure as hell did. It turned out so good. Um, And this was a really easy look, too. Um, The comedy show was very impromptu. And so we really was in kind of rushed in time. And I, I was just like, you know what? If I'm going to do your makeup, I need some content for my channel. And I sure as hell put my camera using that elf gripping primer um i didn't like it for me but for others it seems like it's nice just gotta let it dry the worst foundation in the world let me stop i personally it's, it's not i'm not it's not the worst y'all but personally i don't like the maybelline foundation like for me like i feel like it just doesn't look good on my skin um but when i was putting it on my cousin's skin to me it looked good it looked good on her. Like, it really... I don't know if it's because of the primer I put on. Like, it made that. Like, it made it look good. But it looked good. Now, I had to mix in two shades um, for her. Um, for her, I don't... I think it was 380 and 360. So, that's what I did. I started off with 360, put 380 on top. Use some of this concealer. I think this is the Too Faced Concealer in Chestnut. It is brightening, but... Look, we going for a little bright under eye moment. Um, that is the Tarte Shape Tape. That thing is creamy, y'all, and so easy to blend. I really um do like that um shape shape tape contour. I really like it. Um, I talked about it. I did a review on it when it came out months ago, and I know they have blushes now and that formula and all that. But I'm not gonna get the blushes. I have enough blushes. But anyway, now this is the Juvia's Liquid Blush. It's more, more brown in person. The lights made it look like more orange. But that blush, you got to take very, very little. I talked about that also. Just using my Laura Mercy A in medium deep to um, set the face. Our, the camera died in the middle of me doing her makeup, so I don't really know where we left off at. But as you guys can see, I'm just completing it. Now she wanted a red lip. And like I said, when you wear certain colors and stuff, you got to wear with confidence. And I felt like she did. I personally, I'm okay with the clear gloss, but with a with simple gloss. Because I always do crazy stuff with my eyes. My eyes is the star of the show. Um, as you guys can see, I did her makeup. She left. They get, finished getting ready. I started on mine. Um, I'm using the ColourPop Stone Cold Fox. It's a beautiful 
cool tone palette and I feel like you have that palette you really don't need another cool tone palette and that one shimmer in there magnetic moon uh I talked about it before it's beautiful the best silver that's why I'm really keeping that palette because I don't really need too many cool tones but listen that that's you're gonna see I'm gonna put it on my lids but I love a nice cool tone look and apparently silver is in stock trend I seen like I forgot where I seen it at. I seen like a lot of people with silver looks and I don't think it was for like the new year or nothing. Like I think it's a trend and I didn't even know. Um, my favorite mascara, the Mac Giggle Black. It is so good for your, um, your lower lashes as well. Um, Beast by Dad lashes are amazing, but I don't know if she still sells them. Y'all, I know she did a revamp and when she came like, for her revamp, I didn't see any single, la like, individual lashes or lash books. I'm hoping she brings them back. Um, Y'all, this is a color pen, <laughs> color pop gel liner for my underneath my eyes. Um, That Fenty, this is the original Fenty found, um, oh, Lord, let me, can I talk? I'm high. <laughs> so, that Fenty concealer, this is the original. Um, What I was doing was kind of a color correcting. That is actually the color of my skin for 20 that concealer instead of using an orange color correcting I feel like sometimes it looks good like that and then going in with the foundation and the brightening and all that I don't know sometimes I'm just I just be experimenting that Juvia Pla Juvia's Place foundation contour stick is amazing I don't know if they still sell those though um but very pigmented and I like it and black on brand um speaking of it is February so happy black history month I will be doing black owned makeup looks, so stay tuned for that. It's always exciting um, to talk about black owned brands. I love them. Um, yeah, orange blush. I feel like orange and yellow blush is so, so underrated. I f and it's just so beautiful, I especially I feel like on deep complexions. Oh, yes. And I was really feeling myself. Um, that is the Laura Mercier, once again, popular setting powder, a good setting powder. H&B Cosmetics is very nice too. It's very finely milled, but it's a UK brand. So, um, Patrick's Ta, I love that. That's the cream contour. I actually wind up really liking some of the products. I did do a declutter, which is over on my TikTok. Check it out. I did get rid of his major dimension to palette and my declutter you can figure out why by watching the video i guess but that i did get rid of that palette <laughs> i'm just rambling on i didn't think i was gonna ramble for the whole eight minutes and i did i'm so proud of myself we are getting to the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching um and oh real quick that lip stuff that i just showed you guys is from dose of colors the nematane collab no longer available only the orange set that she made is still available which sucks because it is so deep those were our outfits i'm just now showing you guys the full face of how i looked and how my cousin looked but yeah i will see y'all or y'all will see me in the next one bye money 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 money